Okay guys, we're back here in the mess, and not the mess hall or chow hall, the mess of the shop. Anyway, uh, what you see here is a check valve, a vacuum check valve. Now on my first Chevy I didn't have one of these, and now I have three, um, plus two of the mounts. The brake system on the G506 is vacuum over hydraulic. <clears throat> and what this does is uh, this pre prevents a surge of air into the intake system so the engine won't race when you let your foot off the brake pedal. So the first couple of photographs at the beginning of uh, this video <clears throat> is what it looked like. And like I said, this is one of the spares. Here is the original vacuum hard hose that came out of my truck. And I had prepped it once before. And then I looked at this fitting. Let's get uh, a little closer up where it's going to focus. And that fitting is shot. Um, to fix that is pretty easy. I just have to cut the end off and double flare the hose again, or put a new fitting on, and then double flare the end of the, the metal hose. But, I have a spare. And it just needs to be cleaned up, and it's in excellent condition. So, let's go ahead and Put this thing back together. So this little plunger here has a rubber gasket on it and it fits in there and yeah of course that goes on top and what happens is When you need the vacuum, it'll open by itself under vacuum. And then, like I said, when you let the let your foot off the brake pedal, it, it vacuum draws it closed again. So here we go.
I used this uh, lubricating oil that I got a while ago along with some bore patches for cleaning you know the bore of a pistol or rifle and this uh, lubricating oil cleans everything <laughs> so well I gotta get some more of it and I just you know use a screwdriver put the patch in there and use some uh, elbow grease to clean the inside stuff came out pretty clean So, I'm not going to snug these down until I go to install it. Yup, that's wrong. No, I know that goes on that way. I got to look at the photos that I took. Not a problem, though. Just gonna snug this square nut into the clamp. Okay, so I know it goes that way. Yeah, and then this goes in the bottom. I remember that now. This fitting goes here. And that sits on the firewall in such an orientation. And then the hose goes across the firewall, the steel hose goes across the firewall. Uh oh. I'm waiting on my tripod, so don't get mad at me just yet. Um, so that's it, you know. Um, I didn't know how necessary these were um, with my first Chevy <clears throat> because I didn't have it. And then subsequently after uh, working on other trucks that had them, you know, it was nice to let your foot off the gas pedal and not hear the engine race for a moment. And uh, so that's it. Back together. Uh, I am going to paint that bracket. It's supposed to be black, I do believe. And uh, then you'll see it when it gets installed. Thanks for watching.